My name is McCade Marshall with MLM Publishing, and this is Word of the Week. Word of the Week is a short video we shoot every single week for our readers and viewers from all over the world, so thank you for tuning in today. At the end of this video, if you enjoy this message, I encourage you to share it with your family, friends, loved ones, and coworkers. You can do that by copying the link to this video and pasting it into your email, and also onto Facebook, Twitter, and all your favorite social media sites. So make sure to share the good news at the end of this message. Also, I have a YouTube channel at youtube.com that you can subscribe to for all our latest videos, and the channel is just my name, McCabe Marshall, you can also subscribe to receive Word of the Week every Sunday evening in your email inbox by going to mccademarshall.com, clicking on that Word of the Week tab on the left, filling out the form there, and we would be more than happy to add you to our emailing list. So make sure to check all that out at the end of this message. All right, well, the Word of the Week for this week is... Hard work brings a profit. One thing Christians should be known for is their hard work ethic. In today's culture, hard workers are becoming harder to find. People are less motivated and more entitled. They want something for nothing. This attitude is not of God. The scriptures say in Proverbs 14, 23 through 24, All hard work brings a profit but mere talk leads only to poverty. The wealth of the wise is their crown, but the folly of fools yields folly. Having a good work ethic is one way we exemplify Christ in our workplaces. The Bible is filled with the promises of blessing when we work hard at what God has called us to do. Proverbs 12 verse 24 tells us, Diligent hands will rule, but laziness ends in forced labor. When we are diligent, God opens the door for promotion and for positions of leadership. The best leaders are hard workers. Being diligent is what makes room for us to go further in life and experience new levels of God's glory and blessings. There is a time to talk, but then there is a time to do the work. Many people are full of ideas and endless thoughts. However, not everyone is willing to do the work required to see an idea or dream come to pass. While it is great to have dreams and ambitions in life, if it is not coupled with a hard work ethic, then the dream is not going to come to pass. If hard work opens the door to creating wealth, then laziness opens the door to creating poverty. Proverbs 28, 19 through 20 advises us, Those who work their land will have abundant food, but those who chase fantasies will have their fill of poverty. A faithful person will be richly blessed, but one eager to get rich will not go unpunished. Hard work brings a profit. When you invest your time, energy, and resources into a project, in due season, you are going to reap a reward. This is the nature of sowing and reaping. What you do today has an effect on what happens tomorrow. This is why we should make the most of every opportunity, every day. What you do with your time is important. The psalmist says in Psalm 90 verse 12, Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. We are not going to be alive on this planet forever. Every day is a fresh, new opportunity. At the start of each day, we have been given another chance to live life to the fullest. 
Before I leave for work or travel every morning, I declare I am going to have a blessed, prosperous day in Jesus' name. The same can be true for you. Start each day declaring the blessings of God. Our actions tend to follow our words. If you want your life to change, you must change your words. When you change your words, your actions will begin to change also. The prophet Isaiah declares in Isaiah chapter 48, verse 17, Thus says the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I am the Lord your God who teaches you to profit, who leads you in the way you should go. When we seek God first, he causes our ways to be profitable. The Lord knows where the hidden wealth is. He knows where your blessings are stored. Your hard work is going to pay off when you commit your efforts to him for his glory. The prophet Isaiah says in Isaiah chapter 45 verses 2 through 3, I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. I believe by faith today that God is calling you out of poverty. He is calling you into your promised land. The Lord is leveling the mountains so you can pass through the land of life, peace, and prosperity. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3 tells us, Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be achieved. Having a hard work ethic is a sure way to see success in your life journey. The world is full of chatter. It seems nowadays it's more chatter and less work when the truth is it should be just the opposite. Less talk and more doing. Jesus tells us a parable to emphasize the importance of not just being all talk, but rather doers. He says in Matthew chapter 21, verses 28 through 32, What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, Son, go and work today in the vineyard. I will not, the son answered, but later he changed his mind and he went anyway. Then the father went to the other son and said the same thing. That son answered, I will, sir, but he did not go. Which of the two did what his father wanted? The first, they answered. They answered the first son. So Jesus said to them, truly I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you, the religious leaders, to show you the way of righteousness, and yet you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. Even after you saw all of this, you did not repent and believe him. Listening to God's word and obeying is greater in the eyes of God than just acting pious and religious with lip service. When you believe God in his word, you are going to experience the power of God's kingdom in your life. The Pharisees were great at going through religious rituals, offering up super long prayers, and saying the right words. But they did not do what God said. They put on a show to be seen by others. They didn't truly love God. To know, today, know that hard work brings a profit. When times are tough, keep moving forward. God is going to reward the work of your hands as you seek Him each day. Well, I just want to pray over you really quick that you would get this message deep into your spirit about hard work brings a profit. So wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and listen along as I pray over this message. Father God, thank you so much for everyone who is listening and watching right now. Father, I pray today that you would send forth a fresh wind of your Holy Spirit dunamis power. Thank you that this is the year of dunamis strength for your people. 
You are releasing new gifts and talents in each of us. You are releasing a new anointing that is going to cause things to shift in our lives. You are releasing signs and wonders, healing and promotion in this very hour. I ask you to encourage the hearts of everyone listening and watching today. Give us a can-do attitude when we are at work. Give us the heart of a lion when we are facing the various trials and giants in life. Thank you for prospering us as we use our hard, earth, our hard work ethic for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Well, I want to tell you, the first step to experiencing more of God's goodness and love in your life is by first accepting Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus tells us in John 14, 6, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through him. Jesus came to the earth some 2,000 years ago, and he died on the cross for the sins of the world. He did this so that anyone who comes to him can be forgiven of all their sins, past, present, and future. He died on the cross and rose from the grave so that we wouldn't have to spend eternity in hell, but we could be with God in heaven forever for eternity after this life. So if you have never received the free gift of Christ's eternal salvation, would you just say this prayer with me and invite Jesus to come into your heart and be Lord of your life. Wherever you are, if you want to just bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me this prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming to die on the cross for my sins. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. Amen. If you just said that prayer, the Bible says that you have been spiritually born again and that your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life in heaven. So welcome to the family of God. And the next step in your faith journey is to get involved in a good Bible-based church and Christian community so you can learn more about God and be encouraged by other people in your faith. Also, be water baptized as a public profession of your faith in Christ and read the Bible every single day. The Bible is the Word of God. Reading the Bible is how we learn more about God and what He says, and it just helps us to grow stronger in our faith. Also, pray every day. Prayer is simply talking to God like you would your very best friend. You can talk to God anytime, day or night. He is always available to you. The scriptures say to cast your cares upon the Lord because he loves you, he cares for you, and he wants to be involved in literally every single aspect of your life. So read your Bible, pray every day, and make sure to tell someone you know that you gave your life to Christ. You can tell a friend, a family member, someone at work or at school, or a pastor or a preacher, just tell someone you know that is a Christian that you gave your life to Christ so that they can encourage you along in your faith. We also have a website with a lot of great resources that can help you out as well. And the website is just my name, McCadeMarshall.com. On McCadeMarshall.com, you can watch other Word of the Week videos just like this one. If you will click on that Word of the Week tab on the left, you can scroll through over 250 different Word of the Week videos that we have done in the past. These videos are great teaching videos that you can watch, rewatch, and share. You can watch them with a spouse, a friend, a co-worker, or even a loved one. Also, I'm a writer, and here at MLM Publishing, we mail out seasonal newsletters every three months to readers from all over the world. If you aren't on our mailing list, would you click on that newsletters tab on the left and fill out the form there? 
we would be more than happy to start mailing you a gospel newsletter every three months. And I've authored a few books that you can order on the website as well. My latest book is called Why I Stand with Israel. In Why I Stand with Israel, I share seven reasons to support the modern Jewish state of Israel. And another book I wrote is called Finding Your Keys. Finding Your Keys is about discovering the authority that you have as a believer. In this book, you will discover 12 different keys, which are spiritual truths that will unlock God's supernatural power in your life as you learn to apply them. Another book I wrote is called Breathe. Breathe is all about God breathing new life into your God-given dreams. At the end of each chapter of Breathe, there are prayers from the scriptures that you can pray over yourself and over your loved ones. So it's a great resource for going deeper in your faith. And the very first book I wrote is called Tasting the Goodness of God. Tasting the Goodness of God is a 31-day devotional that will help you learn how to spend time with God every day on a consistent basis. If you don't have Why I Stand with Israel, Finding Your Keys, Breathe, or Tasting the Goodness of God, I encourage you to order those books on mccabemarshall.com, and I would be more than happy to sign those books and ship them to you. All right, well, in closing, I would like to declare a special blessing over you. I declare you are developing a hard work ethic. God is causing everything you put your hand to, to prosper. As you seek him first, he is causing you to go to new levels of promotion and success. He is expanding your territory. He is rewarding the work of your hands. He is making your crooked places straight, and he is driving out the enemy before you. Like the good son who did what his father asked in Jesus' parable, so you are being a doer of the word of God. You are fulfilling the will of God for your life. With the Lord's help, there is nothing you cannot accomplish in Jesus' name. Well, we love you so much here at MLM Publishing, and we are praying for you every single day. God bless you. Mm -hmm.